Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're playing some more of The Last Case of Benedict Fox. In our last episode, we managed to finally get to the Golem uh, and get the revitalized blood, as well as speak to the Golem a little bit. It seems as though we need to go visit the Weaponsmith, and then maybe we'll finish off the Golem storyline. Uh, you may be wondering what I'm doing reading this Mother's Farewell. Well, see, we actually got two chess pieces as well through my terrible, terrible chess skills in the last episode. And I happen to know that there was a chessboard in the attic. And I was, uh, I was kind of ashamed to show you my chess skills here at the beginning. Um, but unfortunately for me, it wasn't even a game of chess. You just had to collect the pieces and complete the board, which we did. Uh, so now that we did that, we got this letter. It's a mother's farewell. We're going to go ahead and read that and start the rest of the episode. So if you like the content and you want to see more of the last case of Benedict Fa Fox, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And let's get into it. So a mother's farewell, a somber bone dry letter from my grandmother to my father does open up an interesting window into my father's secret of life. As it turns out, the abandonment tendencies course within the branches of my family tree, as my father has experienced being abandoned by his father himself. To make things worse, his mother was the furthest to deserving being considered warm-hearted and amiable. One can only wonder if it had made the decision to abandon me easier, or on the contrary. So, alright then. And that is all for the attic. And uh, just so, for those of you who had no idea how to get to the attic, it involved playing this piano uh, right here. You go to this piano, there's a symbol up there at the top underneath piano. That is, uh, I think that's a 2292. That causes that little barrel over there in the top left to open up. You play the notes and it opens up the ladder that takes you upstairs. Uh, so, and that's just... A quick summary of how you get that. Uh, how much ink do we have? Um, Two seventy-six. Okay, so we can't. No, we can't get in a tattoo. Uh, we need three hundred. I got excited for a second. Let's go downstairs and talk to the weaponsmith about the golem. See what we can do to finish this quest off. Crystallized blood. Yeah. Bad. Not bad at all. What happens next? To be honest, I'm not sure. I'll dig through some of your father's notes. Maybe I'll find something. And here, take it. It's on the house. What did he give me? Oh, was it money? Cool. Uh, let's talk about the unbeing. I know it's hard to believe. Found the consciousness of a living golem in your father's memories. Nah, I've seen crazy things. You'd have to transport it somehow to our world. The consciousness, the ego, has to do it inside a vessel of sorts. I bet your father has something lying around somewhere. Uh, okay. Is there? Let's let's check the house real quick. Let me. Maybe there's something here in the house uh, that'll pop up now that we, uh, you know, have gotten further enough. Uh, it might cause a new point of investigation to pop up. So let's run through all the rooms real quick, like. Grab my phone, go. We can go upstairs, radio, shop, anything in Dad's room. How about outside? We'll go this way. There's not a lot going on in this side of the house, so I wonder if eventually there will be. Alright, um, it's not going to be upstairs. I think we opened up both doors up here. One was a book, and the other one was this workshop. So, nothing there. Let's run upstairs then. Let's check the baby's room, maybe. Anything new in here? Not a damn thing. The parents' room? Go. No, 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 no. Uh, we will check the attic. And then if none of this pans out, we then, of course, are going to go into Father's memory. Maybe he has locked away in one of his things. So, show anchor. Hide anchors. Now, let's just start working our way through here. 
let's find our first point that we were blocked off from previously. We're just working our way through everywhere we've been. There's an ink wall right here. So we'll go left from here and go check that out. All right. So head to the left. Uh-oh. Not like that. We can run through this. I got scared for a bit. I was thinking I was jumping to my death. Uh, do we go... Keep going left. Got it. We've opened up this. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. They're all exploding. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, I kind of panicked when I started shooting like crazy. Uh, so that's on me. Well, at least we know there's explosions on the other side of the door. Torg would be happy. Explosions! Okay, coming through here. The door is probably closed off again. No, oh, it's not. That's still a better outcome than what was going to happen to me. Chalice of dried and human blood. It feels like the order has existed forever. With their weird rituals, all the gold and wine and blood and sacrifices and witch hunts, they still probably did good, more good than harm, but if you herald yourself as a champion of justice, you put all eyes on yourself. Their conflict with the first circle only made things worse for many. They have become the villain. Synonym of trouble, herald of bad news. Uh, I am then going to just, you know, walk out of here casually. We'll forget about that guy. We'll give him a, uh, you know, a chance to change his ways. Uh, looks like we have another door here we can shoot our way through. Uh, I don't know what these two are about. Uh, it looks like those are our options. Those are fine options. Let's go check them out. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll go this one and we'll head right. Oh, we got to get back to the anchor. Oh. We actually have some uh, stuff I would totally love to keep. It looks like we're just going to walk there, honestly. You know what? What's better than putting one foot in front of the other? You know, one left foot, and then a right foot, followed by another left foot, and then if you mix things up right, you can put another right foot. Uh, so we are going to... Ow! Apparently I forgot I don't have bullets. Um, but you know what? Let's jazz things up a bit. Let's head to the basement and uh, fully upgrade. Uh, what is it? The gun? Get the last gun upgrade? Because we can. Go down. Hello, Weaponsmith. We met previously before. I would like to request your services. If Thine could help me, that would be great. Uh, let's see. Piercing ammo. There Good. we go. Let's get to work. That's all the upgrades, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did it. That's everything. That's all That's all the weapons. I'm kind of sad that we don't get to have the Owl's Rifle. Honestly. Just a little bit. here and then we'll just drop it down over to the right but that gives us all the weapon upgrades and piercing that means when I miss my shots it'll be just because it went through the enemy and didn't quite hit it because it just it pierced through that fine it was surgical and precision all right so we're just gonna drop down 
I'm not even gonna pay any of this any mind. Oh, I, I might pay that guy in mind. Really? I mean, I did say I was gonna miss. I felt like I set the expectation um, pretty well. Um, okay. Hello, father. Just passing through. All right, so we are here. Let's do that. Important door open. Okay. So we have ourselves a serious case of that sucks. Uh, but we do know that this works. Don't you try to style on me, sir. Did he get both of them? Oh, yeah, because that's how piercing works. Oh, no, it is not. He didn't get both of them. Hello. Don't you look like a fool with your pants on the ground. Let's interact with whatever this is. Hey, it's one of these rifts. Does that mean we finally get to use them? Oh, no, it doesn't. I have no idea what we're supposed to do with these things. What happens if I shoot them with an ink thingy? No? I wish someone would tell me what to do here. I, I have no idea. I feel like maybe my environment was supposed to tell me, but... I, I look everywhere and I don't see anything remotely popping up. I feel like I am just an absolute dumb uh, dumb when it comes to these sort of things. There's more than a couple of rifts around here. And we never got, let me see. Do we ever like, maybe there was like a scenario, a note on these things. Uh, no, dodge, bits and pieces, uh, heavenly string, uh, that's all the ability, second tentacle, bestiary quest. Nope, I just don't think we're meant to do any of these yet. I'm sure once we, maybe we get like a spyglass or something that allows us to do that. Uh, now that we've done that one, or at least check that one out, we can venture out over yonder. We've killed some enemies, so unfortunately we will have to hoof it. But we will have enough ink now to finally afford um, one of our last two skills. Pretty excited about that. I don't know which... I think we're probably going to go with the shield. I want to use this trap one we got. Um. Oh. Hello. So, we've been over here apparently. Oh, this is the piano. Oh, that was the golem. Okay, so there's more over here. And I just stopped. Oh, it's the spider anchor. That's what it is. Yeah. That's actually where we stopped the last episode. That room is literally called the spider anchor. I assume it's very spidery. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Let's go see that. Cause we did see like a spider crawl out from here. Is he gonna come out? No. Oh, there it is. Spider. Man, I felt like I had goldfish memory there for a minute. Not remembering the the thing being called spider anchor. All right, let's hop over here, and it looks like we can go uh, up or uh, down, but uh, it wants us to go down, so we are going to oblige the game. When in Rome. Uh, what do we want to do here? We can go up. I want to go up. Maybe this will open a shortcut or something. Okay. Or. Oh, it's the cellar. I want to go this way. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, we slide out from somewhere. Okay. Well, I guess we are going in the cellar. It's kind of spooky in here. We are approaching the point oh. of no return. The time to tie any loose ends you might have left behind is now. What okay. will it be, Benedict? So we're not going that way. That is a point of no return. So we will do this then. Secret door page. Read. I think Mary takes me for a fool. She thinks she can hide things like the, that behind my back. A correspondence from a lover? Under my very nose? In that case, the permission will have to wait. There are issues that need to be resolved first, and I cannot deal with this now. I have work that is not a can of worms. I'm willing to open up right now. There's things to do, so many things. I need to call Sigmund, even if it would mean more conversations about my mother. All right. So, that was the last place down here. We got anywhere else we have not visited other than the point of no return? Uh, because it seems like we're going to be wrapping up the game fairly soon. And I still have quests. I'm fairly certain. Oh, the tarot door. I know, I know. We've got we've got a couple of tarot doors. We got this tarot door. So we'll jump over here, we'll do this one, see if we got the cards for it, and then we got another one further into the reaches of Mary's mind. Hopefully, hopefully, this will take us where we need to go. So jump over here to the right. Alright, let's get up here. This will take us to an area we can slide down. We'll land in front of our Terador. Right here. And let's see if we can find our way in now. What do we have the cards? The sun peaks, the inertia grows into stagnation. When the sun peaks, the inertia grows. Do we ever get inertia? Stagnation, so there's stagnation. Growth. When the sun when the sun peaks, inertia grows into stagnation. So inertia is down like that. Alright, we've opened up the door. All right, so we finally have all like this door open. Nice. What's that? Oh, those are exploding dudes. Those are no longer exploding dudes. Oh, tarot card death. Nice. Morality, corruption, lost dream, death of hope, life. We're gonna take that. So this is hiding there. And we got this door. Oh, well, we can't really go there per se, but now we have. Is there anything else in here? Okay, so that's it. Um, we're gonna have to walk our way out. I think there's another tarot door right there. So we can go from that anchor, or or we could just uh walk there. We're going to probably have to walk there. Alright. And we'll just do this. And it looks like maybe there's a little elevator thing coming up. Oh. Oh, we did it. I was trying to do that. We got the ability to booby trap uh, ceilings. Uh, and we finally managed to yoink an enemy. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and I went the wrong direction. Oh, 
Did he hurt himself? That's not very cunning. Funny. All right, where am I going? Down. Ow! <laughs> it's still hanging from the ceiling. That's nice. All right, so this way. This way? Yes, this way. I went down. Oh, I see. We can't. Oh, this sucks. How much ink do I have? 12? I don't care. It's going to take too long. Let me, let me go. I just want to go. At this point. We can, we can get 12 ink easily. So refill. How cool would it have been if, like, Benedict got a shotgun or something? I say, pretty cool. Alright, jump down here. This is the right way, right? Yes. Come to here. I love this slide. I just wish it wasn't tied to a stamina system. And, and overall, the stamina system kind of seems pointless with the rest of it. But it's whatever. Uh, let's see. In the moonlight, vanity feeds dream to disrupt the harmony. Vanity. No. What was it? Uh, the feed, vanity feeds the dream. It's gonna go upside down. Do we have harmony? Where's harmony? There it is. I think it said moonlight, right? Yes, it was. All right, so we're in, in like Flynn. And where's this gonna take? So that's a huge ass beetle thingy. What is this? Oh my God, I had that yoinked. Ooh, okay. And it leaves me. Oh shit! Let's see what it does here. Ow! It spits them out so fast. goes and that gives us another rift and we're still not entirely sure what to do with those okay uh but but even though i'm not entirely sure what to do with those just yet we have one more tarot door we can check out and maybe just maybe hear me out it could be the solution and that door is right there so I am going to travel back where we came from I'm gonna go check out that tarot door so I'm gonna head back up here are we going the right way yeah we are okay ride the elevator up Is our nearest portal above us and to the right got it
Ua. Okay, so let's do all this. Uh, no, no, that's not what I want to do. Wait a minute, you gotta be looking at this map. There we go. <clears throat> so there's that door. No, that's not the one. It's over here. This. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is this one. I had to look at the map. For some reason, I felt like we couldn't go back up, but we can. We just have to kind of go about a roundabouts way. We gotta go up here, jump to the left, and then make our way from here. Ow. Boom. Headshot. No, 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 no. Come on. I can do it. No. Let me get. Why can't I get up this? That's too finicky. We can 100% get up there. That's actually how you're supposed to. Or at least I thought it was. Because this is an incline, right? Yeah, that's an incline. <clears throat> All right, so why? Why? Okay, a little frustrated that that did not take that much time last time. I'm gonna say screw it, and I'm gonna run all the way there from here. All right, let's check it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. He explodes. He doesn't explode, but he does beat the crap out of me. Uh, we're going to jump down here. Nope. Uh, yeah, we are. Slide and continue to the right. Uh, we fought an Inquisitor over here earlier. <laughs> A couple episodes back. Oh, shit. He had quick turn. Oh, shit. Wait, I have three health. How did I die? Well, that's, uh... That was some grade-A baloney. What's worse is, like, I, I truly don't understand why I died there. Um, as you can tell, the game just likes to... Ow. Likes to do whatever it wants. Next time, I'm just gonna straight shoot him in the face. Make it clean, make it simple, elegant. It's a very elegant solution. Yep, they all did now. Uh, uh, got it. And here we are at this door. So many friends waiting for us. At midnight, life made way into the lover's house. All right, so. Life. Uh, so what would else would it be? At midnight, life made way into the lover's house. Oh, we literally have a house. 
Oh, we just gotta get it all the way turned to moon. Oh, shit. Exploding. Got it. But we, we did it. We got past them. Memoirs record. We got number five. Sweet. All right. Was that the only thing here of consequence? Yes, it was. Uh, we don't have anything else we can check out. <clears throat> See, anchors unlocked. Okay, cool. Uh, riddles and affairs. Find all the untarnished notes of Father's journal. Collect and listen to all the audio memoirs of Miss Floyd. Find the missing pieces of the last memoirs record and defeat the Inquisitor. So it doesn't look like we have too many things left to do. If I had to be honest, it seems as though those rifts have to be solved. And I think that I've visited everywhere that you can visit. So I'm assuming the rifts are the key to everything else. So that is something we are going to be looking into the next episode. If you like the content and you want to see more of The Last Case of Benedict Fox, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And as always, I hope everyone takes care. If you'd like to come hang out with me in my Discord and get up-to-date uh, content on uh, whenever uh, notifications whenever my videos go live, feel free to join uh, me over there. Uh, you can follow the link in the description of this video. And until the next video, you guys take care, and I will see you all then. Bye.